Today, we begin right in the middle of the action. Jesus has been going around teaching and preaching as he does. He's been telling everybody all about God. He's performed miracles all over the place and people are coming to see who he really is. Near the end of the 10th chapter of John, Jesus tells everybody that he is the son of God. And as often happened, some people were pretty angry to hear it. Rather than being happy to hear that their Messiah had finally come, they picked up stones to kill him with. Now, it wasn't Jesus' time to die, so he and his friends made it out of there really quickly, and they left Jerusalem to go keep teaching and preaching elsewhere across the Jordan River. Whew, they were safe. But Jesus and his friends hadn't been in this new place long when a message arrived telling Jesus that his friend Lazarus was really, really sick. When Jesus heard about this, he said, this sickness won't end in death. It's for God's glory. So after staying two more days, Jesus decided that he would go back to them. Now Lazarus and his sisters Mary and Martha lived in a place called Bethany, which was really close to Jerusalem. You know, the place that people just tried to kill Jesus in. So his disciples weren't too keen to go. They said, teacher, those Jews there tried to stone you. That was only a short time ago. Now you want us to go back? And Jesus' answer, well, it sounded a bit funny. He said, there are 12 hours of light in the day. Whoever walks in the day won't fall over because they can see with the light from the sun. But whoever walks at night will fall over because there is no light to see. Now, we'll come back to that in a bit. There was a little bit more conversation. Jesus told them they were going to see God be glorified. And while the disciples still weren't keen, they followed Jesus back to Bethany because they loved him. When Jesus arrived in Bethany, Lazarus had been buried in the tomb for four days. Martha came straight out to meet Jesus when he arrived. She needed to talk to him about what had happened. She said, Lord, if you'd been here, my brother wouldn't have died, but I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Now Martha, she was a thinker and she knew that God was in control. And it seems that she understood the scriptures. So she said to Jesus, I know my brother will rise again on the last day. But Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. One who believes in me will live, even though they die. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never really die. Martha, do you believe this? She said, yes, Lord. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God. After they finished speaking, it was Mary's turn to speak with Jesus. Mary knew that if Jesus had been there, he could have saved her brother. And she told him this, but she didn't need to talk about her sadness with Jesus. She just needed to cry. When Jesus was at his friend's grave, he cried too, and everyone could see how much Jesus loved his friend. Approaching the tomb, Jesus told everyone to roll away the stone. But Lord, said Martha, it's going to be pretty stinky. He's been in there for four days. But Jesus, he knew better. He said, didn't I tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they did what they were told. They took away the stone. And Jesus prayed. He said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I know that you always hear me. But I said this for the people standing here, that they can believe that you sent me. When he'd finished praying this prayer, Jesus called out, Lazarus, come out! And the man who was dead came out, fully alive, still wrapped up in his grave clothes. Now this is a pretty amazing story. There are so many things to learn. Jesus shows us that his timing is perfect. He glorified God all the more by coming at the perfect moment. Jesus showed us that he is even more powerful than death. In this story, we learn that it's okay to feel sad when bad things happen. Even though Jesus has already won, even though he knew he could bring Lazarus back to life, Mary, Martha, and Jesus all cried about 
the things that were sad. But I just want to take a moment to talk about something that happened before all of these things. Jesus and his disciples were really brave. Sure, their mate Lazarus was really sick, but they could have been stoned to death by going to Bethany. But there was God glorifying to do, so they went anyway. When the disciples were afraid, Jesus told them that whoever walks in the day won't fall over because they can see with the light from the sun. In the same way, when healing a blind man, Jesus told the disciples that while it was day, they needed to do the works of God who sent him. The light of the sun or the daytime, the thing that we can see by, it's God's call to glorify him. When we're following him, when we're trying with all our might to show the world how wonderful he is, we don't need to be afraid of anything. No matter how scary a situation is, at school, at church, even on the news, we need to be like Jesus and the disciples. We need to trust God to not be afraid and to remember that no matter how scary it is, glorifying God comes first and he will always win.